This is how we pose so we get a good cover photo. You're doing an excellent job. Hi, Facebook. I'm sleepy. What does this do? What's this button do, Tosh? Hmm. Ooh, let's try this. Oh, that's fun. Oh. This is tight. This is fun. Does this, does this look cool to you? All right. Tosh, baby, give me a second. Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what am I, like a blues brother? Oh, this is cute. I wish you could see this. You're so cute. Okay. They don't stop. Wait, how do you make this shit stop? Oh, my God. Make it stop. Yo, make it stop. Oh, fuck. Oh, oops. Oh, my God. Wait, yo, I don't, I'm not even meaning to do this now. Oh, I want my face back. <laughs> do I press trash? Wait. Yo, shit. Oh, no. I want a never-ending loop of costumes. Wait, how do I make this stop? <laughs> I don't want to look like this. Wait, do you guys see all of these things? Okay, wait, stop it. Yo, can, please, for the love of God, does this ever end? Uh-oh. This is not good, you guys. Does it, okay, no, no. <gasps> I'm back. I'm so sorry. <laughs> How did that happen? I was gone. The Lindsay we once knew was out. How's it going, guys? <laughs> oh, my God. Tosh, come here. Say hi, Facebook. We're enjoying a beautiful California afternoon. We had a long shoot. It's looking gorgeous today. Just admiring the views and the beauty. How are you guys? Okay, okay. I got my baby with me. How are you guys doing? Yeah, I was a raccoon. That fucking blew. That was kind of fun, though. It'd be fun to do, like... Another background, but not that one. <laughs> Things are going well here. It was really hot. It's kind of muggy. I made some chips. Some star room. I don't know if you can have this. How are you guys? <laughs> I'm pooped. I just woke up from a nap. You know when you wake up from a nap and you're just sad? Which is dumb, because you would think you'd be kind of energized to do the world again, but you're just like, hmm, I hate it. <laughs> mm. Everyone says, hi, baby. Mm. How are you guys doing? What's up, milk of, what does that mean? What does that mean? Someone tell me a joke. Lighten, lighten up my mood. I got nap uh, sadness. Post-nap sadness. Yeah. You, I just can't catch a break. Come here, Tosh. Hey, guys. Ah, sorry, we had to go inside. I got kicked out of outside because I couldn't have a connection. Hi. Hi. This is actually better. How are you guys doing? Let me set us up right over here. I look like a doofus. I have a green juice. I have my weird pink jacket. <laughs> my hair is a mess because I got in the pool. I'm coming. That's Todd. Yo, if I leave Tosh for like five seconds, he's livid. Hey, baby Tosh. I'll show the bikini at me. Hey. It's hard being a single mom of one dog out here. I'm coming. Okay. I will go. I'm a little good. Are you an actress by chance? Hey, Mark. They have started paying me to act. Isn't that fucking nuts? So I can do it. Hire me anytime. How are you guys doing? Hi, Jeffrey. Hi to Minnesota. Tasha, hi. Don't be an asshole. Don't be an asshole. Who taught you how to be an asshole? Hey guys. Okay. Okay. Oh my God. I'm just going to set myself up here. Actually, 
Let's go over here. This is just mass chaos. Hey, Derek from Louisiana. Thanks, Mark. You guys are actually nice because I feel like I look like shit. Capital S H I T. Hey, this is better lighting. How are you guys doing? What's on the jacket? Okay, how's this? Hey, Dave. Happy thank God it's Friday to you, too. Oh, Christ. You're looking very busty yeah. under the jacket. Mm. I kind of missed the other um, filters. Hi. <laughs> Thanks, Ernest. Hi, guys. Do you guys watch any Facebook shows? I'm actually very curious because I've seen, like, some major celebrities with all these Facebook shows, and I'm like, how do you do that? And I saw it on my TV. If there are any good ones, tell me. Hi, Gina. Mm. This life's beautiful. How are you guys? I'll title this live, Lindsay Eats a Bag of Chips. Hey, Billy, can you take, how can you take me on a date? No idea, man. If I knew how to figure out my love life, I wouldn't be single. I have no idea. How are you guys doing? <laughs> Thanks, Jesse Clark. Thanks, Trey. Mm. Tosh, do everything in your power not to shit on the floor during this, because that would be really embarrassing. Not that he does often, but you know, little dogs. You can never say never. You can make this a gift. <laughs> This is green juice. I'm not doing anything inappropriate before um, the internet, social media, God's yelling at me. You know, they really like all the, they like to say they're inclusive and all that shit, but not if you just have huge tits and small waist. They hate that. They hate when you jiggle. Hate it. Hey, guys. Mmm. This is a dichotomy, isn't it? We got ruffles and some um, organic cucumber glow. Life is about balance. You don't want to you don't want to be 100% ruffle and you don't want to be 100% juice because that'd be boring. Balance. <laughs> hey guys, good evening to you, Man Manuel. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Thanks, John. How are you guys? Okay, let's do like a Q&A. Wake me up. If you don't mind. No Facebook shows, HBO Max. What are you watching? What are you guys watching now? Derek saw me on the hills on MTV. So much to say, but I won't say it. Mm. Yes, I did say it. Hey, do you know with a mouthful of chips? That's how I would greet any of my girlfriends. Hi, babe. <laughs> Maybe if I just did like a tap dance live, then I could be famous. I doubt it. I don't know how to tap dance. But I think it would get some views for other reasons, you know? <laughs> Scott says he thinks I'm looking for love in all the wrong places. You're... Not true. I think I have this theory lately that a lot of people that I have a crush on or like I would like, they don't think I would like them. And then the people that I do think would like them, maybe that's who always approaches me. But the people that I would like don't, they're not into me, which is fine. Doug, I have done some acting roles. I've done a lot over the summer like I've been more busy with acting this summer which is crazy so hopefully all the fun stuff I've done will come out at this at the same time and there's a blend of uh, movie work and tv stuff too so it should be a good time um Adam the answer to your question is 15 but I don't know why you're asking me that you're at Adam asked me what 12 plus 3 is yeah. Is that implying that I'm stupid? You're not wrong. But I can count. But I'm still stupid. 
but not for that reason. <laughs> um, I had, Sean, thanks for asking. I had the most fun with my family last week. I took them to Universal, Disney, Joshua Tree in the desert, which is like my favorite place. Um, where else did I go? I went to Big Bear, so we get to see like the mountains and the wilderness and um, I went to Santa Monica to see the pier and the promenade. It was an exhausting trip. I kept thinking I was gonna be able to wake up early, like work, do content. Mm -mm. They, those people could go hard. And I thought like Louisiana people were a little bit more relaxed and laid back. So I was like, oh, they're gonna need naps. They're gonna need nine hours of sleep. Mm -mm. They were up and at them. So I had to be the chauffeur, tour guide, chef, assistant, all that. But it was very fun. Mm. Shake, I'm not working. <laughs> you guys are funny. Hi, Edward. Thanks for saying I'm the best. Let's hear more Bayou talk. You mean when I talk like this down on the Bayou? Like I'm from Lafayette. <laughs> Curtis says guys are intimidated by my beauty. That sucks. And honestly, like I do makeup a lot, but as you can see from following me, like I don't, um, I don't wear makeup often. I actually don't dress sexy often. I, I maybe that's probably like a 15% of my life. Most of my life is pretty understated. So I just feel like I'm not screaming, don't approach me, but I guess I do. People always say they're always surprised. They're like, oh, she's really sweet. And I'm like, what is giving you that I would be an asshole? But I get it. When you watch movies and like the blonde, you know, with a certain personality, she's always the asshole. And she's the bad person and the bully, like, yikes. But in Disney, the blondes were kind of sweet, like Cinderella and, um, what is it, Sleeping Beauty, all that. <laughs> Who knows? Thank you guys so much. I want to try that filter thing again, but I'm a little scared. Okay, let's do a Q&A, if you don't mind. I need some prompts for this random Facebook Live. Mm. Balance. This tastes like shit. Oh, I hope that this brand didn't see that. You always got to be careful because if I say something's gross and in 10 years, if someone was like, hey, you want to get paid for promoting that juice? And who knows? My taste buds might be different. I'd be like, oh, yeah, let's do it. And then they'd go back to five years ago when I tried their old version and I said it was gross. That's why you just got that's that's what sucks about the Internet because people change so quickly and things do change all the time. And that's warranted. But the Internet is just like thinks that that's so taboo. It's so strange. Ah, uh. oh, Jason, that's very nice. Yeah, it sucks that people are intimidated because that's so stupid. I'm so nice. How can you be so normal with your looks and body? Well, John, I think it's because I had some very awkward years. Uh, puberty hit me hard. And, um, you know, I don't know. No one, I came from a working class family. My parents are very, um, they do not kiss my ass. Like, and they are not, I think they value good things like family, food, a good time, being nice to other people. And so that's really what I care about. Still. Very Dolly Parton. You know how Dolly Parton, I just watched this interview with Dolly Parton and Barbara Walters. And she was saying like, yeah, I might look crazy like with my blonde hair. And I know people talk shit, but... I like who I am and I'm nice and I care about the right stuff. So that's why I don't give a fuck what they say about the other stuff because I know who I am. And that's how I feel. With, that Dolly knows. Mm. Oh, Mark, that's so sweet. No, it's fun talking to you too, honestly. If my hair looked good every day, I'd go live every day. There's just so much work in the fucking hair. <laughs> To look nice. Um, Ryan says ever since he got COVID in January, his taste buds have been screwed up. My girlfriend said the same thing and she looks, um, she lost so much weight because she doesn't like, she can't taste food the same and she looks so different. And she said the same thing. That would blow dick. 
Can I say that? I wish this thing would bleep. Blow. Beep. <laughs> that would blow, period. <laughs> you got unique said, how old am I? I just turned 30. I'm grown. It's crazy how um, stereotyped 30 is. It's definitely a big... Like, you're definitely not a kid when you turn 30. You can't lie and say, oh, I'm just, I'm just in my third. Like, that doesn't work anymore. So you have to, you have to kind of be an adult. But I had these goals for 30 and um, I fucking hit them, which is crazy. In the nick of time too. But now we gotta work on the 40 year old goals. Were you popular as a teenager or a dork? I was a popular dork. I grew up in a dairy farm town um, in Louisiana. And it was such a small school that we, and particularly in my group of uh, friends, in my class, we weren't, the popular girls were not cheerleaders that year. The popular girls weren't even in sports. All my friends were um, in clubs and like in the beta club and the Spanish club and student council. And that was our classes like cool. And we really like, even though there were different kind of backgrounds of other kids, like we really were interested in like, what is the girl who, you know, she was more like emo. We're like, what does she do on the weekend? Like, what, I want to hang out with her. Like, we just thought everyone was fun and fascinating. So we were just like, we were kind of, we were a really fun um, class in high school. I miss all my high school friends. They're so cute. Some of them turned out so cute. Thanks, Brian. <laughs> do you guys ever get on Twitch? What is Twitch like? But I heard that's fun. You could just, you just kind of like live all the time. Yusuf, I hope I'm saying that right. Yes, I'm still doing the podcast. I've got three episodes down. I'd honestly like to get nine by September. My goal would be to post it in September, the beginning of September, when school is mostly started in other places. Because I want, um, I feel like a podcast is something consistent. You drive to school, you drive to work, and I thought. The summer is almost over. Let's hit it when the fall comes. But I, I love doing the podcast. And it's it's coming. It's there. It started. <laughs> mm. I think it'll be long videos for free. So I think that'll be a lot of fun. Mm. Gina said she's going to quit smoking by August 11. My friend just quit smoking. And I um, kind of did it in secret. It can totally be done. Lindsay, you're talking about school. You better shout me. Ethan! Woo! Oh, my God. See? One of my high school classmates. Hi, Ethan. I'm still pissed at my high school classmate, Ethan, because they had a, a high school reunion, and everyone got, got together on Facebook, and I missed it because I don't really use Facebook. And I absolutely would have flown home to go see all my high school friends in one place. So I was pissed. Ethan. So the next one, you better find me or I'll hurt you. Okay. Everyone say hi to Ethan. Ethan was one of my good buddies in high school. He's the coolest and cutest. I love all, all my, my high school friends were so fun. Jesse says, do you have a bad back? No, it's actually really strong. <laughs> what great question. Um, thanks Douglas. <laughs> Hello from Japan. Hi. I would love to visit Japan. Have you been to Ghana before? I haven't. I'm not honestly sure if I know where that is. Me and geography really don't get along, which is embarrassing. Can you show us a little dance for us? I would. I would. But uh, Facebook would probably be pissed. You can't have big tits and like jump around. You can't have big tits and wear like a full bikini on Facebook. They don't like that. I don't think I've heard. I don't, I can't confirm, but <laughs> Tasha, Tosh, what are you doing? <laughs> you guys are so fun. Tosh, come here, baby doll. Now we're getting the, the Ethan comments rolling in. My favorite food is Louisiana red beans and rice. I love Louisiana red beans and rice. And I love Cajun food. 
in general. And it really sucks because I'm telling you, they do not have they do not have appropriate Louisiana food in LA. They don't. They try. It's not done. It sucks. Don't tell anyone. Um, do I have a boyfriend, Greg? No, I don't. No, I don't. I have a dog. Um, no boyfriend. Just a bunch of internet boyfriends, which is totally fine with me. Um, yes, I am ha planning to have my family come back for more adventures. I want them to come for Christmas because I feel like Christmas would be very dreamy at my house. I actually have this little fireplace. I have two. And I think when Christmas comes, I could really deck it out. And it could smell like cinnamon and just joy here. And I would like, um, I want people to come visit me. Because it's just pretty. Um, are you going to check out Sexy Beast on Netflix? Okay, Sexy Beast. What's it about? I've never seen it. <laughs> you hear Tosh? Get it, Tosh! Bye, Scott! Um, in South Carolina, I had some barbecue best you ever had. I, that's a great... I'm sure South Carolina barbecue is fantastic. I mean, the South, the food in the South, man. It's fun because in L.A., some of my friends are, vis are there, here from other countries. And they... They think all the food they've had here is kind of American food. And I'm like, you have to try Southern food. Like, it's not the same. Um, Emmanuel says, who are my role models? Uh, there's a lot of people that inspire me, like a lot. So no one in particular, because that, be, that would be kind of too glorifying, right? But I like, there's I pull inspiration from so many people. There's so many people that I find inspiring. Like, I like this person's work ethic and I love the way this guy treats his wife and I love this person um, how they're so organized and I love this person how they're always so calm so I'm always kind of finding inspo in like everyone and everything I know that might sound cheesy but it's true I kind of I love being like a sponge and I think that everyone has um, everyone's I mean you can just never stop learning from people some people you should never take advice from and some people suck beep but a lot are fantastic and unique in their own ways and i always think everyone's best quality is their worst quality so whatever you're the best at it'll it's it's where you lean too far on the um what's it called what is that thing that you on the pendulum the other way alexandra said i'm way too orange You think if I drink enough green juice, I'll turn into a different color? <laughs> I am quite orange. Spray tan, I mean, I'd rather be orange than another color. Because orange kind of comes out good with, like, flash and photo shoots all the time. Like, when you see it on a camera, it doesn't look probably how you think it looks. Mm. Do you like mom and pop restaurants or chain brand? Both. Love Hooters love um what else do i love besides hooters I, I love sonic man but i love a chain restaurant and we don't have a ton here in la so i really like going somewhere where there's like an applebee's or a chili's i get so excited <laughs> but um i love mom and pop places too especially being from louisiana my one of my favorite places to eat was a deli at a piggly wiggly when i went to when i was in college and you could spend like six dollars and have like you know, baked beans and um, cornbread and just naughty, delicious food. And ugh, I it was at a grocery station. I would eat grocery station, I mean, grocery store, deli, you know what I mean, gas station, food, whatever. Mm. Cody, I do remember working at Winn Dixie. I don't remember a lot of people I worked with, but I definitely remember it. Ryan is going to the club. Well, have a great fucking time, Ryan. Have a shot for me. I'm so jealous. I want to go out tonight, too. But I don't know where. Um, Jesse said, are you an early bird or a night owl? Mm, naturally, a night owl. But I am, um, I'm a reformed night owl. I'm trying very hard to be an early bird. Joel? Nope, I don't wish I was in Louisiana. I'm enjoying myself here, but can't wait to come back for a visit. Maybe I'll do Thanksgiving there, and then my family could do Christmas here. That'd be fun. 
Mm. Thanks, Tribe. Good to see you, too. I love everyone giving me their goodbye messages. I think that's so cute. Mm. In and out. Not the biggest fan of In and Out. Don't tell anyone. I just think In and Out is, um, it's just never gotten, never went crazy for it. Okay. Anthony says I look like Margot Robbie. That's cute. She's beautiful. Mm. Well, thanks, Kevin. I try to be cool. I do my best. I like catching up on Facebook on Fridays because I'm like, I don't get on Facebook a lot. I'm still trying to learn it. I've been um, enjoying my lives. Oh my God, I should tell you, I bought a mini trampoline. And I don't know if I'm gonna do something for charity, but I kinda of wanna see how long I can jump on a mini trampoline and film it. <laughs> Maybe do some kind of charity with it. It sounds like fun. I don't know where I'm going with it, but there is a mini trampoline outside that I'm gonna hook up. Thanks, Mike. How are you, Clyde? Thanks for asking. I'm fantastic. I'm just chilling here, drinking my green juice, checking in with Facebook, and I'm going to be doing um, some cameos after this. And then I'm going to be going live on another page. Oh, how was the Suicide Squad, Suicide Squad movie? Who else watched it? I heard it was really fun. John said, you weren't at Babes in Toyland yesterday. I wasn't. I was um, just a little tired, honestly. And I, you want to hear, no, I'm not even going to go there. I just don't like a camo background on a red carpet, but that's for another story. Mm. Pop, Jared, Popeyes is fantastic. Chose to view from my place. I could do that. You want to go on an adventure in Lindsay's house? Let's go. Mm -hmm. MTV Cribs. Not sponsored by Ruffles. Okay. Well, here we have a fireplace. Let's start here. This is my dining area. And I just got this table. It's beautiful. Um, most of my furniture isn't here yet. So this is just empty. And a lot of furniture is just taking forever. So I have a lot of friends who have moved around the same time. And it blows. But the kitchen, I mean, you don't have to do a lot to a kitchen. But it's very charming. It's very um, cottagey. And it was funny because when I was looking for a house, oh, I love my the little light here. When I was looking for a house, my um, I was like, I want something sexy, loud, says Hollywood, just like glam. And um, I ended up picking the world's most romantic charming sweet warm house that i have ever seen um it's beautiful i have a little garden out there i don't want to give too much away because we're i'm actually decorating it and then i'm going to do a before and after so i can show everyone what i've done i say i but i i have some help um i'll show you my garden though the light isn't that great I have this little meditation area <laughs> and this is a this cute little waterfall and sometimes it comes on and every time I go to show someone and I press the button it won't come on and then when no one's around sometimes it'll come on on its own sometimes it's just very um it's it's funny <laughs> I don't know I'm like come on. But yeah isn't this the sweet area you can do yoga here i can write stuff <laughs> oh this is very funny actually look at this wait do you see him wait i don't know how to flip the camera don't you pee there hey don't you pee there <laughs> come here <laughs> wait come here um catherine says what's the idea of my most fun day oh. okay hold on my most fun day <laughs> would be um my, I think my perfect day would be um, a day at my house with all the people that I love. So whether it's like friends or family, I feel like maybe a holiday, but just a full day with 
the people that I love playing games together. I really like, like, um, I don't know. I just like doing fun stuff with people I love. Seems boring. But I think playing games, relaxing, and just having, like, an extended amount of time with the people that I love. Not, like, a quick dinner or a quick bite, but some time. You're so annoying a little bit. Why are you so annoying? Why are you so annoying? You want to go show them where you... So Tosh uh, has a little dog walk to pee, and he hates it. He wants to pee in the garden. And who am I to tell him no? Go ahead. <laughs> Uh, I do think Tosh could use a friend, but mommy can't handle it. He's def he's fully, he's pretty disabled because since he's blind, he is a little bit harder to care for than other dogs. And I think just him. Be if my Wi-Fi extended, I could go live from the garden. Oh man. Oh, she's pooping sick. Okay. Hey guys. Yeah, sorry. Don't get the best signal over there. The good news is Tosh is relieving himself while I stand here. Good boy, Tosh. This is actually cute. Look at this. I got this little door. Come on, little Tosh. <laughs> Hi, little Tosh. I mean, what a cutie pie. Maybe I'm a fairy tale princess and I don't know it. <laughs> come on, little Tosh. What's in my fridge? That's a great question. Tosh, come on. You want to go tell him what's in the fridge? What's in my... We'll go, let's go see what's in my fridge. Come on, cutie. Come this way. <laughs> come on. Come on, little man. Laugh, laugh, laugh. Good job. Okay. In the fridge. I'm scared. What's in the fridge? I don't want to show you anything embarrassing. Okay, I have. Well, I have this because my family came to visit. So I have Coca-Cola and Cherry Coke, these little ones. I say I got them for them, but I'm enjoying them. Um, I have a lot of sauce. I have blue cheese, major blue cheese fan. And I'm very surprised that this kind you get at the grocery store is fire. Like it's really good. Can steak out. Shout out. I have fake sour cream. Vegan sour cream. It's a 10. Oh my God. I have Beyond Beef. Ground beef. You know why I like it? Not only because it's probably better for the environment, but um, it doesn't really expire the same way like regular meat does. And it tastes fucking close. And then I have eggs. And then I have... Oh! Some beer. <laughs> uh, they're all different kind, which is strange. And uh, oh, this is very important. Very important. I got some cold brew. <laughs> I don't um, enjoy hot coffee really. I mean, I would, but it's not my thing. And I, who wants to go to Starbucks and get like a seven, eight dollar coffee every day? It's insane. Or however much it costs. Don't quote me. But you could just have cold brew, which is like. You know, a shot of crazy. It's cold. It goes on ice. I just, I'm a huge fan. So we're, I'm always, uh, when I'm working with people, I'm always making them drink cold brew. And then I have sriracha, of course. And now I have some protein and juices because I am trying to get a fat ass and be healthy at the same time. How do we feel about that? I want a fat ass, six pack abs, huge breast. That's my goals. Okay. <laughs> Uh, thanks guys. Yeah, I know this house is total fairy princess, Disney princess vibes. It's so cute, especially Tosh. <laughs> um, hey, teddy bear Tosh, that's cute. Oh, I'm out of breath from my, I don't know what. Would I marry a rich man or someone with a normal job? Uh, the last two people that I've had a crush on, not rich at all. I don't know if the job would be normal because we, we do live in LA, so their jobs are kind of different. But um, richness is not, I have a list actually, like a love list 
upstairs. It's like all the things I want in a partner and not one part on there says a financial amount, a height, a hair color. Um, it's none of that stuff. True, I, didn't, I wish I could play music in the background, but due to copyright stuff, I probably can't. Where's my favorite place to visit? I like it all. But right now, it's, uh, honestly, if I'm being truthful, I love a California steak egg because there's so much cool. There's really, there's the desert, there's the mountains, there's the snow, there's beaches. There's so many beautiful spots that are so near. And I think with all the pandemic stuff, it's like, why don't you just explore your backyard? Because... There's so much here to explore that I have to explore. So I've really been enjoying that. Like uh, this last year, I mean, I've been to Pasos Robles, Oxnard, Joshua Tree. Um, I remember I drove through Lake Shasta, San Francisco. I did drive up to Portland. Just explore my backyard. <laughs> you guys are so fun. Do you like bald guys? Why not? Who cares? I think, um, I mean, hot comes in many forms. And my friend Sam notorious for not having a type. Because if I like someone, I like someone who looks completely different, completely different height, skin tone. It really isn't about, it's really about just like whatever makes my gut react. Mm -hmm. Good night, Kevin. You guys have been so fun. I want to give you kisses goodbye. I got to film some cameos before I go live on my fun page. But it was nice catching up. Love you. Let's get Tosh. Let's say bye, Tosh. Come here, teddy bear. Come here, teddy bear. Come here. Say bye to all your friends. Say bye. Hey, who's that? You want to say bye? Did you have a good time? You had a good time? You pooped on camera? We love to see it. We love to see it. You're so cute. Love you guys. We'll see you next time. Bye. Oh, the Woodstock 99. I'm going to watch that one later. That's a good. Thank you. Thank you for reminding me. Okay. Love you. Bye, guys. <laughs> Let's pose in case they.